So this hotel is quite dated, but I think it's really quite pretty. I love the bedroom and the French doors that open to it. This is very nice. I think from now on, we're always just gonna book our hotels ourselves because if you wanna hear stories of hotels that have kind of gone a little bit wrong on this commuting business, I'll put a card up at the top of the screen if you wanna be horrified. So I am in Canada and this feels very good. I think that they've added more flights onto the schedule because this time I was able to book a flight from Newark and then Newark to Toronto. So I'm here in Canada and then tomorrow morning I will fly to Vancouver. But this is the best route that I've flown so far on my commuting journey. So I'm really happy with this one. It wasn't too hard of a day. However, the airports are crazy right now. There are so many delays, the lineups, the security, the customs. During my commuting journey, I don't think I've really been in line at all. I get through all the lines, usually in about 15 to 30 minutes max. Today I stood in line for almost two hours in the Aruba airport and when I landed in New York things were just as crazy. But I guess it is a good thing because this means that the world is going back to normal, people are traveling. I think there is definitely a bit of a learning curve as the airports get used to being back at full capacity and so many people I think have also left the industry working at airports and I think there's a lot of new hires that are also learning the job right now. So for the next six months, I'm just expecting airports to be a place of absolute mayhem, chaos, and inner screaming because that's what it was today. I'm really glad to be at the hotel. This wall is giving me life though. It's making me want to wallpaper something. Anyway, I'm going to bed. Good night. Another day, same outfit. I forgot to bring clothes. I also forgot my toiletries. I forgot my toothbrush. And I found out yesterday that I have been brushing my teeth with my husband's toothbrush for about two weeks. Two weeks. However, in this situation, I actually would still brush my teeth with his toothbrush because I just need to brush my teeth and I forgot so much in my suitcase. I'm not even sure what I packed because I really didn't pack anything useful. Anyway, we are going downstairs for the breakfast. Might as well. I think it's just your average hotel free breakfast. Whatever. I'm just going to grab something to eat, hop on the shuttle and get on the plane to Vancouver. Tell me you're a flight attendant without telling me you're a flight attendant. Exhibit A. I cannot stand it when there is light in the bedroom at night. But this is a very good hotel hack if you're like me. Okay, quite the view. When you forget to pack your clothes or any other basic thing a normal person would pack, this is as good as it's going to get.
I'm in a corner by myself, so it's okay if I take this mask off. It feels so weird wearing one in an airport again. So I booked confirmed tickets through the States. So we booked standby tickets from Toronto to Vancouver, and unfortunately they downsized the plane and there was no room for me. And the rest of the day, all the flights are seeming to be very oversold. So we are changing gears. I'm going to fly to Calgary because there was lots of open seats. And then from Calgary to Vancouver, there were also open seats. So I actually got a confirmed ticket on standby. So that is perfect. And we're just taking the long way back to Vancouver. days now and we have been working on a project that I'm very excited about and in between that project I have been running errands, unpacking, repacking, went to Granville Island for the afternoon, grocery shopped, all the things that I need to do every time I come back here to reset and get ready for work. But I have to tell you about this next project that is happening. I finally have a quote unquote home in Vancouver and I am over the moon about it. So long story short, before I became a flight attendant, I had an apartment, but when I got married, I moved out and I rented it out to someone else. It is so funny how life comes full circle because the renter moved out about a month ago. Now I have this apartment to do whatever I want with. Of course, it's going to be my new crash pad. It is a very, very old apartment. It is so dated. So already we have painted everything as a start because the color before was just very, very bad. It needs a lot of work. So we're doing some little renovations. And because the style of this apartment is so old, the kitchen is very I Love Lucy style and that would take a major renovation to change. If you know me, I don't know if you caught this on any of my videos, but I am such an old soul. I would have fit in very well during the 50s or 60s. I love old movies, old music, the way that people dressed. And so I am going to take this apartment, work with how old it is and make it the cutest little old-fashioned vintage apartment so in that spirit I have been looking around at thrift stores trying to see if there's some old paintings or mirrors or furniture that I can restore or hang on my walls and I have to show you because I just found this the other day walked into this store and saw this beautiful painting and I absolutely fell apart it was only $75 it's an original painting done in 1965 by this man named Joseph I don't know what his last name is but I am determined to find out it is absolutely gorgeous and I also found this vintage style frame here vintage as in probably from the 90s but it's brand new and then i also found a glass decanter i want to do a vintage style old bar cart in the corner it is going to be so much fun so on my days off when i'm not flying i will also have things to do in vancouver to make this place my little sanctuary when i am here let me know in the comments if you are interested in seeing the before and after or the process of renovating this little apartment and i will try to save some video clips and make a video so let me know if that's interesting to you this month's schedule is absolutely crazy tonight i start with a red eye and then i work every single day until the end of the month so almost three weeks straight 
No, that's a lie. I have one day off in all of this. So get ready for some very tired flight attendant content coming your way. Tonight, I do fly to Toronto. I'll definitely do some vlogs, but that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I have to go make sure my bags are completely packed. And so I will see you next time with some more flight attendant content. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me and I will see you very soon. Thank you.